Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we're going to do another um, ink on glass project like the B1 we did a bit back. I am using HTV Romp Permanent Adhesive. I used the white for this project because it's really going to pop off the color inks I'm going to use on the glass. I have another one of those same silver frames from the Dollar Tree. that I'm going to open up and pull the glass out in a bit. I already have this cut. I started weeding it already. This one is Advice from the Ocean. This one was also already on Cricut Design Space. So I didn't have to go hunt for an image or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and finish weeding this. Um, I'm going to do the bulk of the weeding off camera because I need to be able to get down where I can really see what I'm doing on this one. It's very intricate and I am weeding it right on the mat. But um, this vinyl does weed quite nicely, so. And I will be pulling pieces as I go. So I'm going to pull my inks, finish weeding, and we will be back to do the inking and get it all assembled. Uh, these are great projects for nurseries. I really like doing nursery projects and things of that nature. So I'm going to try and get my hands free here so I can stop a minute. I don't want to be pulling stuff I'm not supposed to be. And where I'm standing above this, it's very difficult for me to see. So, but I just wanted to show you that it does weed quite nicely. So I'll be back when I have this all weeded and my inks picked. Okay, so my image is all weeded. I did mess up a little bit here not the end of the world. So that's ready to go when this is ready and I'm going to get my glass inked. So I have a bunch of assorted blues. I pulled some of the Unicorn Art alcohol inks, some of the HTV Ron inks, and a couple of Pixis inks. And I have a bottle of 91% alcohol. And that's everything. And I have my little blower tool from Tim Holtz. And I have this raised up a little bit just on a couple of medicine cups. And I have my surface somewhat protected. On a little bit of silver, I think. You can tell my table is slightly uneven. That'll be fine. I'm just going to start moving that around. Okay, 
So I'm going to let this sit and just dry completely. And then we will get it turned over, get the bottom cleaned off because it does roll under. And um, the bottom is actually the top. So you're going to want that cleaned. But you can see where it's all dripped under the edge. It's fine. We will carefully clean all of that off once this is fully, fully dry. So for now, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and fully set up. Okay, this should be dry enough to finish up. Pull these out of the way. So... I take a paper towel and get a little bit of alcohol on it. Not a ton. want to get all of that ink off and I should have put gloves back on you want this top surface really clean So I'm going to move my coffee cup and I'm going to slide this over for a minute let that ink on top dry. I'm going to bring my image back in. Okay. I'm going to test out the HTV Nance uh, transfer tape. This is the 12 inch version. So, I'm just going to cut off a piece big enough to cover my image. Still not quite, quite ready for that. I do have one other thing to do first. This is the backer for the frame. And this is just a plain white piece of paper. Because I want white underneath my image. So it'll go like that in the frame with the color on top. All right. So let's see if we can get this on here. And this has a million little details. So I'm going to get this all peeled. So. And this glass is relatively cold. So, and of course, that already tried to stick where I didn't want it.
I'm going to try not to mess anything other than that corner up. You know, if it's a little crooked, it's a little crooked. It stuck to my parchment quickly and game over from there. looking for a blade. It's actually not too bad, so that's good. <laughs> So this one, the blue versus the red, does release easier from the vinyl, so that's good. Not bad. All right. That makes me happy. So this is going to be my top side in the frame. If you want to buy two frames and waste one of the frames themselves, you can double up your glass so your vinyl is protected. Um, I have some in my house that have been like this for several years, and it's not a problem to clean them or anything. So, you just dust them down like normal. So you just put your glass on, put your backing paper over, and put your back back in. Make sure you measure your glass when you go to cut. This is crooked slightly, not terrible. Um, but that is it. I love the way the colors came out underneath this one. It says, advice from the ocean, avoid peer pressure, see life's beauty, get out of your shell, count the stars, be sure of yourself, make waves, and don't get tied down. So, there you go. Uh, this one will probably live in here since it's crooked, but I may do another one like this at some point for retail but the vinyl went on nicely there's no big bubbles or anything maybe a couple little ones but all in all I am pretty pleased with the project so there you go